Got it, okay, cool. All right. I am recording now. I am waiting for me to talk for a little bit, see what's going on, make sure everything sounds good on the thing. You're gonna hear some feedback in a second from the original audio, or the Twitch audio, so give me a second to hear this. Okay, cool. I am muted now. All right, well, that's different. Uh, I see they have the Twitch chat now, which is pretty dope. On the side, I, I did an update today. So I guess I don't really need it open if it's over here. Yeah, I can close this and not have to worry about that. That's actually pretty fucking nice, not gonna lie. Now, question is, can I move this shit over here? I'd love to move it. I mean, I guess I'll just move the whole thing over here. Yeah, I guess that's... Let's just Let me put that over there. There we go. Okay. And I can see a bit of myself in the stream. Cool. And then I can keep my note folder over here open with all of the stuff that Kirby uh, needs. Uh, so I guess while I'm here, I actually didn't check to make sure all the audio, the text look good. So we'll do that real quick. Testing. Ooh, did that? Is that blocking off most of my tags? I didn't want that to happen, but I guess we're just going to have that. So sorry to all the Twitch I mean, I guess I'm not getting paid by Twitch, so I guess it doesn't matter if I block off tags and, and badges and shit. I get you pay extra money, but, um, you know, if, if I ever get big on Twitch, I guess I'll, I'll fix, I'll, I'll, I will be more, you know, happy to fix that, but I don't really care right now. So anyway, guys, we are back to, uh, not, I want to say Let's Play. I want to play, I want to say Let's Play so bad. We're back to uh, Twitch streaming uh, Kirby's Adventure and beating it 100%. Last time we got all the way from level uh, uh, yeah level one. I hate how Kirby goes by. They say level for worlds, and they say stages for the stages. But whatever, that's besides the point. You know, we went from level slash world one to to five. Or yet yeah, we got to five, but we didn't start five at all. So five is when the the secrets start appearing up. So we only have, I think, two more. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have three more s levels to go through. And then after that, we are going to, um, yeah, that's all we have until the, the big boss, end of the game, stuff like that. But we do have a lot more. Like we, despite the fact that we did more in the last one, we have more than double secrets to look for. So um, I forgot to say as well, one of, the, one of the tricks for finding out if you've gotten everything in a level, or at least got the secrets and stuff, is this right here if if kirby does not put out this little um this little flag that mean and you know the thing will still go i think he drops a flag or something similar but um kirby will not drop it if it does not have all the secrets in the level so that's how you know which secrets are in what level that, that's supposed to be the the hint something still something fishy's going on and it's kirby's job to find out so uh fyi i wasn't able to spend much time with cilantro yesterday so he is in the room right now you want to want to come in want to go say hi buddy want to go say hi Say hi to cilantro, everybody. I think I have a should have a preview here to go full. Uh, just me. There we go. There's this cilantro, everybody. Look at him. Isn't, isn't he so cute? Isn't he cute and adorable? I love him. Sorry, I say cilantro. I mean, he has a thousand different names. His his original name is cilantro. I call him cilantro for shirt short. I also call him uh, Mr. Birds or Mr. Burbs, and then I also call him my boogle butt. That's that's my favorite thing to call him because he's 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 green. And he's a butt, so he's a boogle butt. Look at him. Look at how happy he is when he gets scratches. So he has tons of food. I even gave him a little soda can. Not to not open, but to play with. So uh, go back over there, buddy, all right? And he's got fruits and veggies. So he's good to go. But since I want him to be out and about in here, because my family just got a puppy. She is a blue-nosed pit. She is absolutely adorable. Her name is uh, Neela. And uh, we'll go back to the, to the Kirby game now. Her name is Neela, but she is a puppy. She is seven weeks old, and I've been trying... When, when I've been alone with her, I have to spend more time with her to make sure she's not peeing in the house and doing all this other stuff, trying to take care of her. So, thankfully, my sister's home right now, so she's she's taking care of her right now. So, um, I figured I'd still want... I wanted to make sure I streamed today, because I've been wanting to do other... I've been wanting to make other content for my channel channel, and I haven't been able to do much. Uh, I mean, I just got the puppy the other day, but I was planning on doing a video this weekend, and that didn't work out. So anyway, oh, and uh, big one, um, and that's not an April Fool's joke, I do have a puppy, but um, anyway, uh, and another thing as well, I apologize for both the stream quality and the uh, uploaded video of the last session that I did on here. Turns out, uh, for some reason, even though my screen was in 720p for how apparently it rendered, like everything was being displayed, it scaled it down to a 480p quality. 
I noticed something was up and I didn't realize it because it's my first time using Streamlabs, so I, so I do apologize. Also, at least with Streamlabs versions of OBS, I could not add the delay. I forgot about that and I just remembered and I just started like Googling how to do it. And uh, it said if I delay disabled something on my speaker, so that's the only thing I've tried, but I don't think... Here, I, I can test it real quick, you'll notice. Kirby's down on the ground, slide. So if that didn't happen in sync, then I apologize, but I'm out of sync. And if you can't see it now and you have to stop watching the video, then I apologize. So, But anyway, I just wanted to get that all out of the way about everything that has happened. And uh, just showing Launcher off because he's absolutely adorable and I fucking love him. Never, never, uh, I, I love birds. They're, they're amazing. Never, uh, never not love you little guys. I apologize if he's a little squeaky. If he gets too squeaky, I will put him out in the other room. But uh, he's usually pretty good, especially he, he talks for a bit. Then he just kind of sits back and he watches. So anyway, this is, uh, I forgot what stage we're on. And I just realized, we, they started our points over. That's really dumb. What's the point of having points if they're just going to start it over? Ugh. Hate you. Parasol. Absolutely fucking terrible. If it weren't for the pass, you know, I, I don't know if I really said that this much yesterday, but if it weren't for the fact for the whole passive ability they're trying to go for, it'd be such so much of a better ability. God, this lag's already already annoying me. Okay, let me move this over because I want to be able to see my... Uh, I do want to see my stream, but I also want to see my chat a little bit better. I don't want to ha have to keep looking all the way. That's the one thing I hate with the way I set up my new... Uh... Nope. Kirby, I don't know what you were doing there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, Kirby, despite the fact that Kirby used a sword, it didn't fucking do anything there. Oh, uh, I forgot how we get across there. I, wanna, I really want to get that. Actually, no, is this it? Because we do have a thing we have to do here. I'm taking part of the stage. We must fall. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see, I see. All right, well, that's not it. So I'm just not going to worry about that right now. Oh, here we go. Just going to have Kirby do this. And here's some useless abilities while we're going down. Ooh, health. I will take that. Oh, fuck off. Oh, sword. Please, sword. No, I need you. Oh, fuck off. Oh, I got it back. Cool. So anyway, this is the trick here. You actually go down here. Be careful, though. You can fall to the end. So if you have, like, stone or something, don't, uh... Don't mess up. So anyway, go in there. You have to go a little bit further, and bam, there's your unlockable. So, crane game, baby. Even though it kind of sucks, actually. I really have to say, the crane game sucks. And, oh, I love this fucking... And there's my dog going nuts. Not the new one. That's that's JC. That's my original dog. That's Miss OG. I say OG. She's the... She's like a... Yeah, I try to think of it. Like, imagine if you thought about your, your life as the... Uh, each arc is when you get, like, your dogs or something. Uh, that's how I feel. JC's like the mid-arc. Because she had the, the two dogs that we got with the older ones. But now she's, she's going into the, the new puppy era as well. So JC will actually experience probably all the dogs will get. And I mean, I guess my sister moved out, so I don't know if you could say as a family. Because my when I was growing up, I had three dogs that were with my family. And uh, oh god, that's so close! I can't not try to get that. Eh, a little bit should have should have held it a little longer. But no, I had three dogs. Oh yeah, look at that life. Yeah, but I had um. Chewy, which was the first one to pass away, that when when I was growing up. Then we had uh, Cassie, and then Princess, which was uh, Cassie's mom. Or no, no, Princess was Cassie's uh, daughter. I don't know. I might be able to get it this time. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Yeah, we already got the other one. Well, that's fine. I can't believe that's just two one-ups, though. Like, you think they'd give us a little more. It's not like... I'm pretty sure one-ups don't mean anything in this game, so what's the deal? So, but anyway, and then we have, um, oh, there's a thing over there. I'm just curious what is in there. Laundro's a little upset because there's a lot of noise going on. Oh, we have stone and tornado. Uh, stone's nice in the attempt that you don't have hammer, so you can't hit switches. We don't have to worry about anything in this next one coming up. We got to level, or sorry, stage four. And one thing I really hate about Kirby is the way they can't fucking talk about certain things. I shouldn't dance to this because uh, I'm out of sync, but fuck, it's so good. Love the music in Kirby. Kirby has, like, the best soundtrack out of... It's up there. It's up there with Mega Man for some of the best soundtracks in, in uh, like, on average for video games. Or at least early video games. I don't, I don't hate the music of newer video games. I just don't like a lot more of the tones that go with it. 
Like, that's why I'm a real big fan of Dark Cloud. It's probably one of the last soundtracks that I really fell in love with, because... I think those... Oh, that one exploded. That other one didn't. That was weird. Usually the nuts explode even if you destroy them in midair. Uh, yeah, I'll go for... Uh, I'll go for electric. Sorry, spark. But anyway, no, I feel like... Because uh, Dark Cloud just felt like it had a good combination of being catchy and atmosphere to it. And then when Dark Cloud 2 came out, it just... it That's what kind of was part of the whole, okay, it has a theme to everything. And I mean, I guess that's fine-ish. I just don't care for it personally. Yes, Lantro, please give your opinion on that. I keep Lantro on my shoulder, but he uh, he has this habit of going, no, Dad, I'm cleaning you. Or, or no, what I like to say, because he, he preens. He's, he tries to find a little skin on my neck, and he's like, ooh, don't worry, Dad, I'll get that off. But in, in, in the way I imagine it, he's sitting there going, Dad, your feathers are going to come in any minute now. Like, it's, that's how he, it's exactly how he says it. Oh, God. Oh, God, this is going to suck. Okay, we'll just fire that at you. Oh, I did not mean to do that. That was not the plan. No, Kirby. I'm actually just gonna take the I'm gonna take the loss here, because I'm sure the hammer will. Un I don't want to say unlock, but does something cool up ahead, and I'd hate to have one HP left and then lose it and then can't get the hammer ability back. So the plan was, there we go. Oh, fuck off. Then he throws the nut. I do like. Uh, I do have to really appreciate the remake because they do a little bit better at giving better signs for. Okay. Oh, fuck off. Thought I got the pattern down. Like, you kind of... I feel like for a second there, you don't realize what he's doing until you already see it. <laughs> I can't believe I am doing so terrible here. <sighs> Fuck off. Oh, I'm just gonna die again. I don't care. Take the loss, Kirby. <sighs> Fucking yeah. <laughs> you go away for, for not even a week, and you're already fucked up. I blame the pizza I had earlier. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for him to do his little... Yeah, do that. Okay, well, he, he dodged that one, but that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, do this. He's gonna jump. Cool. Okay. <laughs> it's just getting the pattern down. I'm, I'm, I'm such... I'm so lazy when it comes to that, because I so bad just want to be like, just wait it out. Just uh, try to do it as fast as possible. Like, I just... I, I try to go off instinct too much. So I'm usually pretty good when I'm on, on instinct. That's my problem when I when I play games. I do really good with instinct, and then I want to keep up with it, but I don't know how to keep up with it. So I start getting nervous, and then I fucking lose. Anyway, uh, I didn't get to show the beginning of the stage for this video, or sorry for the stream, but for the should have seen it in the last one. This is kind of the level they probably use for Kirby climbing up a mountain. Background might be a little different, but it's basically the same thing. So I wonder, is it like a talent for speedrunners to get the lowest possible so they spend the least amount of time? I'm just super curious. Anyway, talking about dog eras of uh, my life, uh, after pr I, we had Princess around the same time we had Sadie. And we got Sadie as a family. She was our German Shepherd dog. I think she was mixed with Australian Shepherd as well. I definitely see it now. But I didn't see it as a kid. I think you can go on this one. No, you can't. Fuck off. No! Not Hammer. Gotta keep Hammer. Okay, thank you. Um, I didn't really talk about it. Hammer is basically like a more powerful sword. I don't think it does any more damage per se, but the fact that it can it can do the whole... The things in the ground, the... Uh, I don't know, what'd you call them? Pikes? Wooden wooden pikes or whatever? Oh god, well, I'm, not, I'm not lasting in this for a while. Uh, oh, for some reason, I thought stone guys would fall down here. Then we had Sadie, and then April was my favorite case. We got, we got, um, my, my parents got the dogs from other people for the first three. But, uh, Sadie we got from the, from the pound, or the, whatever you want to call it. And then, uh, April is one, actually, really cool story. My uncle saved a dog from getting hit by a car, and then kind of left the dog at our house, because, uh, from where he was, to our house, because, you know, they just found a dog, didn't have a tag, didn't have anything like that. So I fell in love with this fucking dog. dog I, I named it Lucky, because it was lucky it didn't get hit by a car. And then a few days later, we found out it didn't have a microchip. Thought it was the coolest fucking thing on the planet. Like, this this is our dog. This is awesome. And then we found the lost dog signs, and it was like, fuck. So, you know, being the good people we are, we gave the dog back. And, uh, God, I was I was so upset because I, I fell in love with this dog. It, it was a thing, too. My parents were not going to have this dog because it, it was a boy. My parents are very... Boy dogs pee all over everything. All, you know, they're more aggressive, etc., etc. 
you know, at least that, that's 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 what I heard at the time. Anyway, I'm not I'm not as sure about the more aggressive, especially if you get them snipped. But anyway, so after a while, I decided to um, I probably should have went with the uh, the wheel ability. Yeah, should have went with the wheel ability. Oh fuck. Well, what do you do? I think I think the next one we have to use wheel, something like that. Oh no, just go up here. Well, it doesn't matter because we do have a secret up here. Not the secret, but probably just like a health up. Oh, here we go. Well, that would have been perfect to have hammer here. Okay, so this is the tricky one. So FYI, you do this one, and there, there's a. It, it shows there's there's nice safe land. This one fucks with you. There's no land below that, so don't fall for that shit. All right, anyway, I'm getting rid of that. So anyway, so we found the dog, blah, blah, blah. We gave it back, and the owner's like, okay, well, here, here's reward. And it's like, no, we don't we don't take rewards. It's just not what, it's not what we do, you know? We found your dog. It's not like we fucking spent a million dollars on him. We don't need a fucking reward giving him back. So anyway, you know, and he's like, oh, well, did you know there's more dogs out of the litter uh, of uh, puppies they got that puppy from? And it's like, ooh. So then we actually gladly accepted, you know, he contacted the, the people who uh, got him his dog, and then we actually took his we took his money because it was just like, just take it, you know, it's how much the dog's going to cost. And, because uh, they didn't cost much. I don't think they were really planning on it. I think it was just like, they had puppies. And they, um, we ended up going over there. The dog looked very different, but she, um, the dog looked very different from the other dog. The other dog was basically a cattle dog Australian Shepherd mix. It very much showed it. It had, it wasn't super short hair like cattle dogs, but it wasn't super long hair like Australian. Here's a fun fact. A combination of an Australian cattle dog and an Australian shepherd is called a Texas healer. Fun fact. Um, I think it was uh, Australian shepherds are from Australia, but Australian cattle dogs are from... Yeah, it's Australian uh, cattle dogs are from uh, Texas. So, for some reason, they kept the Australian. It's probably just because of the colors. But just dog naming, it's weird. <laughs> And I'm not saying that's like a breed, because I know some people get very upset about the whole, oh, you're saying it's a breed when there's no such dog breed. I'm just saying that's the name for it. I don't give a fuck if it's an actual dog breed. <sighs> Almost running out of soda. So anyway, um, so we ended up taking the dog. Uh, my parents said they did not, they would let me have, pick a boy, because there were two boys and one girl. And um, I was like, okay, you know, I, I want to pick my favorite. And then I ended up picking the girl because the other, the other ones were all rambunctious dogs. And the other girl dog was just in the back all sad. And I just I had to pick the fucking dog, man. She needed the love and attention. Anyway, let me read this real quick. Okay. Okay, so I think I know what I'm looking for now. If I forget it, at least we can show off the whole... Uh, I like how I get tornado. I'm like, oh, wait, no, burning is going to make my life a hundred times easier. Yep. Oh, fuck you, game. You did that shit on purpose because you think you're fucking funny. Fuck off. Like, it was the perfect distance for this fucker to show up. Just take the hits. I don't care. I don't fucking care. I miss the one-up. Who even likes one-ups? One-ups are for losers. So anyway, yeah, my original plan was to call that dog lucky, too, but I just... Didn't really like it. It made me really upset. So I ended up going with April, which is a name I always wanted to go for a dog. So, and then we had her for the till uh, May of last year. It was really, it's really sad. It's weird. Both uh, my my dog Sadie died two years ago in May, and uh, last uh, last year in May is when my other dog died. Um, really strange. It was Sadie, we waited till sadly we waited way till the last moment, and she just was in a lot of pain. April, her legs just gave out, and we just knew it was like it, it was time. So we, we I, I don't know, I, I, I feel upset. I feel like maybe we did it early every now and again. Was that, you know, was that the right move? But, you know, I, you know, it, it's one of those moral things, you know, do you, do you wait until they're going to be in massive pain and have them die in misery, or do you, you got to watch out for those guys, they spit upward. Or do you wait until they're going to fucking, uh, in misery, or do you possibly do it too soon, where maybe that you could have had them for, Another year, possibly, you know? April died a little bit younger, but that's because her hips were absolutely terrible. Oh, this is the secret right here. Go. Cool. Oh, no, I'm going to die, aren't I? Oh, wait, no, maximum tomato. Thank you. I don't know where to go from here. Uh, go to the hidden cover. All right, I might fuck this up. 
says the one in the hover up until you go to the door in the middle. I feel like that one down there is the middle. And that sound effect legitimately sounded like something from Kirby uh, Avalanche. Okay, no, it's that one. Okay. I wasn't sure there. It said in the middle. It should have said the lo you know the room immediately to the right. I don't know. This this could also you know it could look a little bit different in the remake as well. So I don't know. Fuck me, right? So anyway, yeah, there's that. And then we got JC because my aunt was like, oh, the Humane Society has some dogs for, uh, dogs out for adoption. We were, we literally just wanted to look at the puppies and then we fell in love with JC. It's funny. We thought she was a boy. <laughs> this is really funny. We thought she was a boy because uh, her, uh, her little girl parts were very big. So it looked like she had, uh, <laughs> it legitimately looked like she, she had some, uh, <laughs> things hanging down there. So yeah, fun stories, and then this one was one we found off Craigslist, just because we my, my dad legitimately wanted a blue nose pit. So uh, yeah, since my dad legitimately wanted a blue nose pit, I don't think I needed to build any coming in here. Not one that's here. Okay, so we do need one and the one coming up. Uh, I don't. I'll battle him in the next one. I think. So, but anyway, yeah. So. There's that. We found him on Craigslist. He seemed like he was a... I know, I wasn't there, but from the sound of it, my sister did a lot of research, and seems like he was a... He was a good guy, so I can't, um... I usually knock the, the Craigslist people, because a lot of times it, it's trash breeding dogs, but the dog seems good. It, it, it was super cheap. It's not like they were like, oh, yeah, you know, because some people charge out the ass for a lot of dogs. Even though she's a blue-nosed pit, by the way, she's also black, so... <laughs> but we still love her. She's absolutely adorable. She's got a lot of personality. She loves toys. Very excited to see uh, see her. Just I wasn't expecting to deal with a puppy so soon. So it's a lot of work. A lot of work dealing with dogs. Well, okay. The issue I have is that I like cilantro and I want to leave him out more. But the issue is, is if I'm going outside, I have to worry about him flying on the ground and getting himself hurt by like doing something. And I can't take him with me because then he'll just fly away outside. He's clipped, but he can still get somewhat away. Oh, no, this is one that's going to be... Okay, this might take a while. Yeah, switch is going to take some work. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go through this level... Yeah, okay. I'm going to go through this level naturally, and then I'm going to go in and try it again. I do know I need fire coming up, so I'm just going to grab this real quick. But I'm going to play it safe here. God, this looks so fucking good for the NES. Holy shit. I just want to... Oh, hey, the lion! He looks so much cooler in the remake. Like, his whole, like, mane is made of fire. It's dope as shit. Oh, fuck off. I wanted to keep fire. It's really goofy, though. Alright. So anyway, this is fireball burning, whatever you want to call it. And I legitimately did not see the mini boss, by the way. I was like, wow, this is so cool. And the lions, like, stared me in the face. I would be that woman who got mauled by the fucking uh, Black Panther or whatever the fuck. Just fucked her ass up for a selfie. I was just leaning and fell over. Nah, she took a selfie. Alright, well, fuck off. I think that's it for pets, then. I mean, obviously, I got uh, cilantro. I got cilantro two years ago in August? Yeah, it's gonna be rough. Two years ago, damn. Yeah, two years ago in... I think it was, like, literally August 31st, I think, is when I got him. Yeah, August 31st, I believe. That was also a mess, because I'd never dealt with the bird before. So I'm, like, going to work, going to school. Like, okay, I, I want to bring cilantro out, because I never had a bird before. And I'm like, okay, he needs to be out. He needs to have his attention. Wait, what? I thought they don't bring it out if... Wait, what, what are we missing here? What's different here? Is it the color of the door? It might be the color of the door. Yeah, it's the color of the door. See, I thought it was the color of the flag. Maybe maybe it's only the color in the, of the flag in uh, the remake, or maybe I'm just completely off. Okay, well, ignore me there. Uh, just for the fun, I guess I'll get... Uh, we'll bite, fight the arena to get some health. Oh, hey, we got hammer here. Cool, I gotta remember that. As you can see as well, uh, doing the uh, doing laser doesn't do as nearly as much damage as using the uh, stars. I'm somewhat actually surprised by that because the stars are um, are more powerful to use against enemies in future Kirby games as well. They're just not nearly as useful. 
No, as, as I said before, the the trick to it is to use like, if if you have a grab a, a grab portion of it, like the we were talking about me and Nine Fury that they were talking about like, uh, suplex and like uh, superstar, you end up grabbing onto the the things they leave off, and when you attack the enemies with them, you do massive damage against them. The one of the best ones to use, despite the fact that I'm not really a big fan of it, is Jet. Jet is not that powerful, but fuck me, man, it will it will wreck house. Is this the one? Oh, no, I'm reading the wrong one. Oh, no, they're both... Okay, well, apparently they're both a pain in the ass. That's one of the next stage. Okay. To be quick on your arms and feet as you're hovering through the forest, you'll see a tree with a door. A star man? Oh. Oh! Oh, we have to be quick here. I see, I see. So, is this the one? Okay. Oh, I see now. We have to be super quick because we have to okay we did that maybe he can can he light it himself no i don't think he can that'd be dope but i don't think he's gonna do that for us uh, no 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 okay we got it that wasn't that bad it's just you got to make sure you don't break the, um, you just have to make sure you don't break the, uh, kill, kill the fire one when you're getting the switch, when you're, or at least when you're trying to get high jump. I mean, I guess you could go on there early with an ability that could break it, but I can't think of what ability would break it besides high jump. Parasol wouldn't, I can tell you that much. Slide. Alright, well that's, I guess, all we needed. Um, I... I'm curious, if you exit the stage, does it count? It does! That's awesome! I love I love it when games do that. I hate platform. I mean, I, I maybe I can get it with Mario, but I just hate it when it's like, oh, by the way, you did all that, but you, you kind of have to finish the level with it. Like, so dumb. I know, Launcher. I'm sorry. You're bored. He's sitting over here going, Dad, you got the headphones in, and I can't fucking hear you. Let's see how well I can do this. Also, I have a fan on in here because it's 85 degrees outside. And it is 80 degrees in here right now. Ah, damn. Ah, uh, nope. Uh, I do not know if I'd be able to complete that. Well, what's this? A1 up? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's something, right? Oh, wait. 1 ups are basically useless in this game. Never mind. Okay, so I think it's saying that we need to go back in and get Hammer. So I guess it's a good thing they give it to us here. Okay. Let's get you. Let's get some practice in for beating this guy. I forgot this guy's name actually. It's funny because they say it in the future game, so like you'd think I'd like figure it out by this point. What the fuck is his name? I just can't remember. Especially because like in Superstar, they tell you the name after you make the the partners out of them. All right, real quick, let me read this. Type of switch to get. I need a hammer to switch. Okay, so we have to wait until we get to a water bit here. Oh man, fuck off. No. I didn't need that, I was just hungry. I am actually currently in a pizza high right now. I was not planning on getting, like, I was just like, I'm just going to get some fast food. And then I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I haven't had pizza in, in a while. I usually get pizza on weekends before tests, but I haven't I, I haven't had crazy hard tests, so I haven't really worried about it. So I'm like, you know what, I'm getting, I'm getting pizza. I ate so much pizza. Bad for the calorie count. No, no, fuck that, fuck off. I, I don't care if I don't make this. It didn't say anything about making this stupid fucking switch. Fuck off. 
How am I going to do this? Oh god, I don't know how I did that. I, I guess maybe I can run across it. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> These are the parts that test you. Despite the fact that I cheated already and I know what I need to do to get through here, so like, whatever. Oh god. Because the problem is that you end up losing... God, I like how the Kirby loses. He goes up too high, so they unload the mallet. Is this the aquatic portion they're talking about? Mm, I'm not seeing a hidden door anywhere. Is it this one? Seems like there's much more of the stage to go, so I think it's this one. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so it just wants us to do this properly. Yeah, okay. Well, that, that wasn't actually that bad. thought that was going to be much more terrible. Oh, by the way, I should, I should give credit. This is a strategy wiki that I'm reading right now for this game. There was one for, like, oh, 100%ing Kirby games. Like, what counts? And then, like, but it didn't give me, like, a list of, like, what that, like, you know, how do you get it? Wasn't anything like that. And I was like, why? Why not? <laughs> just give me the fucking... Just give me the fucking thing, guys. Come on. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah, we're already at the boss. Damn. Is this the boss? Uh... This is the boss I think it is. Yeah, yeah, this is the boss. Uh, I recommend going into this one with Ball. It's actually kind of fun. Because you can absolutely... F it's one of the few cases where you, like, can you absolutely see how you can fuck up bosses with Ball. Anyway, so there's this fuck. I forget his name, but he basically kind of breaks shit with, uh... Oh, God. With his little thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can't beat bosses with Kirby's, uh, spit. And I always found that obnoxious. Can Kirby break... Oh, Kirby can break these. I wonder if that's just because he has... I'm curious if that's a hammer exclusive thing to do, or like stone or something, or if that's just like what Kirby can do here. Kirby, what? The lag is not letting me eat hammer again. This is bullshit. So I believe um, if you wait too long, you can get into a moment where you can't actually win here. Overall, the boss is pretty easy, but kind of interesting. And then I think this is what the background looked like the entire time. So anyway, yeah, there's that boss fight. Oh, oh, orange ocean. Sounds so good. <laughs> Carvey. Oh, God, it's a shark. Even though I don't think they ever have sharks in Kirby games. I can't think of any shark in a Kirby game. It's a little, little different. Oh, I've got the flowers in the background. I love the way this game fucking looks. It's so pretty. All right, was this the one where, like, every stage was one? I think so. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, here we go. Sorry. They, they have it layered by uh, the starting one, like, one, two, three, four, five, but it goes... We didn't start seeing secrets until, until chapter 3, so I got a little confused there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes. Every single one needs to be unlocked in this one. Alright, well, let's get started. Alright, well, I guess we got a thing to go. Jeez. Hammer, wheelie, and fireball. Let's get ready, guys. Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read this real quick. Yeah, I just run a door to, to a small cave. Inside the cave, there's a secret door underneath. There's some secret door brick. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh, okay, okay. It's not as bad as it was. Okay, so what it's saying here, this is actually really funny. It's saying that, uh, here, I'll have to, if I get to the moment real quick, uh, let, let me just make sure I know what word said scene it is. Okay, well, we have to wait till the sky is blue, guys, so look for that. Oh, God. I don't need you as much as throw would be kind of cool right now. No! No! I see why it's so fucking tea. Okay, well, I guess we're doing the stupid shit now. Fuck off, game. I hate... Uh, I hate how good the people underwater can fucking swim. It's so fucking bullshit. Okay, sky's blue. What the game wants you to do... 
Here we go. It wants us to go in here. Oh, hey, we can't get here unless we have hammer or something. What it wants you to do is legitimately go... Oh, fuck, I missed it. Well, I fucked that up. What it wants me to do is to use the roulette wheel to get this, which I think is fucking nuts. But I guess we get to show it off, so we're just gonna keep going in and out, guys, until we get the right ability. Oh, here's Ice, by the way, the shitty one. So, like I said, uh, I'd always felt Ice was one of the dumbest abilities in the game. It still freezes enemies, but, like, there's one that covers around you, and this one just goes slightly further. Like, just what the fucking point? I do like a color Kirby's color changes, though. Oh, light. Here we go, guys. There we go. Yay. Oh, boy, guys. God, we're just gonna go through a list. The fact that they say that's tedious, so just do this. And I'm like, that's stupid. Oh, stone. This should hopefully work. This is actually what I was hoping for. Shit. Because I thought, like, hammer could fuck up. Wait, no, I don't, I don't need health. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, stone works. Fuck. Awesome. Yep, there we go. Okay. Well, that's weird it says. It says, or if you get fireball, I think. I don't know, maybe I'm reading that incorrectly, but stone seems like the better one to have. Okay, cool. And that was a museum as well, so I guess I probably could have. All right, let's do it one more time. Let's see what we can get. Because this is also uh, an effective way to get UFO. All right, we'll just get tornado again. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's in this game, but I know in Superstar you can actually effectively, in, in situa- because I know in Superstar for speedrunners, they actually know how to use the roulette wheel to constantly get, like, Jetter, I think. I think it's mostly Jet, but I think they use Bird as well. It's funny because as, as mobile as they are, they're not really fantastic abilities. I do think Jet can be massively used for- to destroy bosses if you have the, uh, patience and know a lot more about the characters. Because if you, like, charge up your blast and then do the whole, uh... Like I said, grabbing the, the star the enemy leaves behind that you usually have Kirby suck in. You can do that instead, and oh my god, I think I took off took out like all of Dynablade's health. In one hit. Alright, let's see. Oh, this one's very difficult to get. Yay, guys, it's very difficult. I'm so excited. I knew this was going to be the part that was going to kill me. God, we're already 30 minutes in? Jeez. I know I talked a bit in the beginning, and fuck. Oh, yay, wheelie, yay. Actually, I might not be able to use this. Because it says I need hammer or stone. Okay, so we'll get the ability we need in the level we're going into, so that's nice at yeast. At yeast. <laughs> at yeast. <laughs> Okay, so this is the one I absolutely despise. When I remember writing a script for a top uh, three best and worst abilities in uh, Kirby games, this is the one I was thinking about where stone is a nice ability and all, but it sucks because when you have to go through certain levels with it, it is impossible not to die because your only attacking move also means that you can die immediately by pressing uh, down. Or you can you can immediately die because you you have you can't switch back into Kirby fast enough. Oh, why did I do that, Kirby? Wait, no. I you know I I will have that as one criticism in this game. Sometimes you don't know what. Okay, I was gonna get my ass kicked there. Sometimes you don't know what's background and what's not. Again, this game looks absolutely fantastic, and I am not saying a game doesn't look fantastic. But what I'm saying is sometimes in situations like this, I would have liked a different color. To try to be like, hey, by the way, this one's in the middle. But at the same time, it's also supposed to be like, here's a nice little uh, thing. By the way, if you have a Waddle do and a Parasol together, you do not do a roulette wheel. You actually just say, fuck it. Wait, what? Are you supposed to beat the level and then go back in with... Huh? Is that what you're supposed to do? Beat the level and go back in with... That's dumb. Just beat the fucking level with... That's super stupid. Just beat the damn level with... Or, or, or go into it from a different level. Why would you do it this way?
Oh, yeah, there's a... All right, well, I didn't get UFO, but I actually wanted the Helix, so that's fine. I th I could be wrong, but I think you can use the, 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 the pseudo-laser ability that uh, UFO has to break the blocks, but I could be wrong. I don't think I've ever been in a situation that I've actually used it, but I swear it should work. And I'm just going to hit everything on the way over here. Wait, what? Oh! I'm, uh... Wait, no. Oh, it is saying grab the ability and go in. Why? Oh, God. Okay, we're just going to fight bonkers again. Because fuck using the stone ability. Yo. So I thought it'd be fun to talk about some animus I've been watching. Uh, I've really been enjoying... Uh, I went through uh, Higurashi again. Higurashi uh, Kuro no Ni? That's what it is. When they cry is what people call it. Uh, American people usually call it. Fantastic horror anime. It's so much of like it's not as much. They they kind of open up most scenes with like being cute and adorable, and then when things go south, it's like the whole Earthbound effect where you're like, oh, you know, this was all nice and cuddly. Or Kirby sixty four slash uh, Dreamland three is a good example as well. I'm in the right stage, right? Yeah, I'm in the right stage. Fuck off. Just gonna... No, <laughs> fuck off, fuck off. Okay. All these fuckers, you gotta jump up in the air and ruin your fucking day. <clears throat> Stay over here. Okay. So this is what it's talking about. Because this is, I guess I, this would be my second criticism, or sorry, another criticism about this game. Uh, you lose, I, I think I've said this in the beginning. No! Pfft. You lose your ability at every hit, and it's fucking obnoxious. It is one of the absolute worst things about this game. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can do it with stone instead. I know that sounds awful. This sounds like a terrible idea, because it is. Where's the, I thought there was a museum here. Like, Oh, you know what? I think it was in stage... No, yeah, we were in stage five. Oh, here we go. We'll try it. That was fucking obnoxious. But anyway, no, it's it just like it opens everything up with being cute and adorable, usually. And the thing is, is that it, it goes through these segments, and it makes sense within the context of the, like, near the, near the ending of the show. But when you start watching it, you get this moment where you're like, what? And then, like, just keep watch. Like, I just recommend if you are watching, keep fucking watching. It's gonna... You're gonna go, oh, and you're just gonna really enjoy it near the end. Um, I ended up having to skip a bit because when I was watching it, it was during an era... Because I think it came out in 2006. I was in... I know I was in junior high when I was watching it. And, um, or at least when I was watching it off YouTube during that era of animu watching. And I'm saying animu just to piss people off. But, um... So that's been, uh... Just gonna stay down here? Okay. I'm down here. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, we're down here. This is good. This is good. Good. You know, for once I give... I, I'm gonna be happy about Crash there. I'm actually gonna say I'm kind of happy about uh, Stone here, just because I can kind of take out enemies below me. <laughs> nope, just gonna stay right here. Cool. Go, 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 go! Just, just fucking go, just fucking go, just fucking go. Okay. Just don't lose it here. I think something I've tried before is you could technically just keep going in and waiting for those guys to get near each other and then you can suck. Wait, no, that doesn't work, I don't think. Does that work? No, I... I know in the remake, if they have the same ability, it, uh, it still does roulette wheel, but I think there's a possibility that it doesn't. And that was fucking shit game. Fuck you. What was that bullshit? Oh, we'll just put you right on top of the enemy. It's funny, because it's supposed to be one of those games that's like, oh, it's not bullshit difficult, but here's a bullshit moment that if you're trying to get 100%, you 
You basically have to know what's happening to avoid it. Blah blah blah, I know, that's what games back in the day did. It's still fucking stupid. Fuck off, I was waiting for Tornado to show up. So, but anyway, if, uh, a little bit early for this, but if Halloween comes, if, if you only watched horror shit near Halloween, next time Halloween goes around, give uh, When They Cry a shot. Do not watch the dub. I am an avid dub watcher. The the dub's not great. I've been I've been watching sub. I usually don't, but uh, I, I usually do, I, I. So the reason I'm I'm more of a dub watcher than a sub watcher has to do with the fact it's it's how I watch stuff in general. I'm usually playing games like longer, takes more time, have more fun within games like Terraria. When I'm watching a lot of anime and stuff, so um or like doing homework and stuff, so I end up liking the dub because I can look away. And still know what the fuck's going on. You know, I might be missing some some little details and stuff, but you know, I don't I don't sit down and just watch anime all the time. And to be fair, dub isn't as bad as people say it is. But anyway, um, so but if if Higurashi is something I've wanted to sit down and watch, watch because it's 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 I don't like horror, but it's one of those horrors I absolutely enjoy. Okay, okay, so this is one where we do get the ability in here. It says go in and beat bonkers. That's the the guy with the hammer's ability's name. I knew it started with B. I just couldn't remember anything else. So anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, I know what this one is. I know what this one is. I know this trick. I actually know the secret. I don't know if I've ever gotten it, but I do know what it is. <laughs> just going to sneak by here. Just having fun swimming alone. Oh, can we not? Game, why would you let me do this? Can't do nothing. God, I love, I love Kirby swimming. I love all this. I love these frames. It, it shows the full swimming. It's not just a mirror. Like, it has Kirby's arm behind him. That's really nice. So, give give Higurashi a watch. I have been watching the dub version of uh, Code Geass, though. I have... I watched it a bit in... I think junior... Again, junior high. Uh, actually, no, that one is probably more early high school. Actually, no, I started... I stopped watching uh, Cartoon Network in high school, because that's when they uh, got rid of the good shit. So, it was probably junior high, actually. And I remember enjoying it. It's a very Death Note-esque show. But I never got to watch the full bit of it in from the beginning, so that was fun to watch. Anyway, let me read from here. I kind of have an idea. I've just been a while. Okay, so the only important thing to remember here is that we need to get our hands on uh, laser coming up. I think we don't need hammer anymore, though. They really should put that in there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should do my own, like, narrated version of this shit. Oh, do I need to lose it now, I think? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, it said something about a hidden door. I don't see no hidden door, guys. Fuck off. Oh, by the way, that's the only trick I can tell you guys for getting using abilities underwater is if you, uh, if you get the ability, Kirby uses it, like, the animation for it, but it still attacks. What about Sword Knight? There's no fucking Sword Knight here. I'm I'm reading I'm reading stage 3. I broke the thing like it told me to, unless it's saying I needed to go through this this portion. Is this what it was saying? It didn't say go through the till the next portion. Oh my god. All right. Well, I guess I'm finishing this one normally. What do you do? Oh no, but I didn't need to as well. What is going on? I know this is one that tricks you. I think you have to go through the... Yeah. I think if for some reason if you go through the door, it shows up on the other side. But apparently if you go through the window, it tricks him. Which, by the way, that window was a circle on the inside and a box on the outside. So, uh... Take that for what you will. Oh, this is probably why we need laser. Okay. I don't know how to get in here, though.
Yeah, I'm a little confused here. I don't know how to get... Because it's implying it's below, but I can't go below. There's nothing down here. I might have to, uh... Alright, I'm just gonna continue on. I might have to watch a video real quick. Again, the stage look gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> I've, been, I've been watching uh, Code Geass, and that's been, that's been fun. It's been interesting, because when I was a kid, I didn't notice more of the political and, uh... Yeah, like, the major political commentary about all of it. You know, racism and, and uh... Combination of racism, imperialism, you know, shit like that. How... You know, what what gets left behind, you know, calling, you know, especially the the part where the, the Japanese end up getting renamed to a fucking number, you know. Uh, everybody calls them 11s. Like, that. that's pretty fucked up, you know. Ah, oh, look at the sunset. It's so pretty. Hal, we don't deserve your great games. You know, sometimes people are like, man, I wish I was in a universe where, like, all this other stuff happened. But you know what? I'm happy I'm in the same universe as, as developers Hal. Because this shit looks awesome. Anyway. But the dub's pretty good, though. Uh, I'm going to watch a video real quick. I saved one the other day. Kirby's Adventure on Switches. Oh, sorry. I should probably just lower that volume in general. Okay, this guy's... Okay, he was doing what I was doing, he did that. Duh. There's an invisible fucking door there? What's that bullshit? What's that bullshit about? It's just... Oh my god. Alright, we're, we're gonna watch this shit. I'm gonna watch it with me. And be upset! Alright, so watch what fucking happens here. This is gonna be bullshit. Flantro, nobody cares about your opinion on this subject. You can't even play video games. I gave you a controller. You wanna know what you did? You ate it. He's lit. No. Nah. Just gonna get to bonkers and I'm gonna kill myself. See, er early Hal lets me kill myself. Later, later versions of Hal, like Return to Dreamland, don't let me kill myself. Like, what the hell, Hal? Maybe I want to end it all. Maybe life's not worth it. I'm kidding about suicide, by the way. Get help. People out there love you, I swear. Anyway. Jokes aside. So, so wa watch this bullshit. Do-do-do-do. Just walking along, having a good day. Ah, oh, well, there's a bomb right here. Oh, look at that. There's water everywhere. Well, that must mean it blocked something. That's what it was. It blocked something, and that's what let the water in. So fucking stupid. All right. Uh, lose it here. No. Kirby. Get laser. Is there a door right here? Okay, no, you gotta go down there to get the door. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. That's how you get laser, and then you go through this one, I think. I'm already here. I just want to look. I just want to make sure I'm not fucking that up. Oh, I know. he. Did he fuck up? No, no, he didn't fuck up. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. We're, we're good. We're doing good. I don't know why I clicked over on that side. I'm used to playing Terraria, where you have to click back in. Which, by the way, I hate. I hate I can't just click out of it on my own. I hate how it has to fucking pause. It's fucking obnoxious. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. No. It didn't just... What? It breaks once? It can't fucking do it ever again? What is this bullshit? It's so stupid. Sorry, guys. The, uh... <laughs> That's stupid. When does it ever... It usually comes back. Maybe it's just a remake, but it usually comes back. All that for a crane game. Oh, boy. All right, guys, we are halfway done with the stage. Oh, yeah, we can leave immediately. Thank you, Kirby. Saving me some time. Until we start playing, uh... I'm gonna get the fat Kirby, because why not? 
But thank you for saving me some time before we hit Return to Dreamland, where you change that. Actually, it's more 64. I like how it says press A, but I've been pressing B the entire time. And my controller is set up properly, so it's A, B. Actually, talking about cilantro chewing on controllers, I can still see his little bite marks on the fucking uh, controller here. So what I usually end up doing is, you'll see this fleece behind my chair right here. I end up putting that over top of me, having my hands underneath. So then he can, like, just hang out on top of me, do whatever. Uh, my favorite moment was when he... <laughs> I'm telling the story. Favorite moment is when he just, he got on me, he was all happy, and then he came up and he just ran up and bit the fuck out of my lip, the little shit. It's like, that hurts you, fuck. We are almost at an hour and we still have, oh no, we don't have plenty of game to go, we got enough game to go. I mean, we have a lot of stages to go through, that's for sure. Uh, I think I'm just gonna watch this, for, I'm gonna watch the video real quick for the next one. Okay, so going with sword. Oh, that looked like that was really quick. Okay, good. I'm, I'm happy I looked at this one because I would not have known what to do. Okay, I think there was a sword in this level. Early on, I think? You know what? Fuck it. There's a sword in, like, the very first arena, I believe. Warp star, please. I believe in the first museum was sword. It says to have sword. I don't know if it's absolutely necessary, but I'm going to fucking grab it. Oh, I really wish we had hats. That'd be really nice. Love hats. Uh, warp star. Let's not have to go through them individually. That's one thing I hate. Like, oh, here's a quick way to get to all the levels. By the way, uh, we don't allow that for uh, some of them until you get the, the secret. Like, why? What's the what's the motivation at that point? I think that's my problem with the secrets in this one, is that the motivation for them is boring. Oh, here's a thing that you get lives in which are completely worthless. The arena in a museum is basically the best thing about those. Which those, I think it's fine. But otherwise, I think it's stupid. I'm just going to go up. For people who don't want to play through the level, just fly over top of them. Oh, ball, if you, if you fuck this up for me. Just ignore me, just ignore me, just ignore me. Oh, sword's in this level, fuck. Uh, I don't mind secrets, by the way. If sword's in the level, I get very upset if, uh... Like, if, if the ability is in the level, I don't care, I'll... That's how they fuck with you. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. Alright, fuck it. This is actually as much help as I need left to get. Okay. Uh I don't know if I have anything else to talk about anime-wise. I've just I've just been trying to catch up in general. I did watch Dragon Ball again. That was awesome. It's really nice uh, watching that show over again. I watch it through Funimation streaming stuff, which is what, what I like about it. Once I found out, you get a good selection of anime. Not all of their selection, which is probably the most annoying part. Also, because of issues that's been going on, they also lost the things to... Uh, mob psycho which i was a little upset about because that was that was like one half the reason i ended up uh getting the service because i'm like i really want to watch this mob psycho dub it looks fucking amazing and it was mob psycho was fantastic still haven't watched season two yet because uh i th uh, so so what seems like happened crunchy roll is helping to like like, they have the rights to the dub, but they're, like, doing it with Funimation, but I don't know... So I know they lost the rights to Season 1, probably... Oh, I saw that coming. I think they lost the rights to Season 1, but I, I wonder if that means that they... Uh, sorry, to stream even the dub of Season 1, which is stupid. But that makes me wonder, does that mean... Like, I, I, I 
got the streaming service for that. Does that mean that I'm not going to be able to watch the dub of that because of stupid bullshit like that? Like, I don't know. Shit like that really bothers me. So this is how the game is going to fuck with us. Oh, I somehow did not get hit there. I deserve a fucking medal. <laughs> no, uh, dude. if I got hit all of a sudden because I didn't make it to the corner in time, I'd be a little, little upset. And I got hit by that. Whatever. I don't care. We don't need it anymore. We might need it in the next level, but I don't care. I'm just going to... Ignore it. Just keep going along. I already have my thing. By the way, the video I'm watching that has how to get these things is uh, by RetroArch. Oh, sorry. Retro Archive. I just looked up Kirby's Adventure All Switches. Alright, and we are in... Oh, no. We got two left. Oh... This one seems like... Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, so the thing says you need the fire ability to get the, the switch in this level, but it starts out with ice, so I think that's fucking hilarious. How do I... Oh, that's right. One hit and you lose your ability, and here's how I believe... This is like one of the later stages that you get... You start seeing ice more often, and I just don't get it. You know what? Maybe... The, I, it's, you know, it's something I, I just thought of. Maybe that's part of the challenge. Maybe they start giving you suckier abilities near the end... So it's more of a challenge that way, you know, getting ice instead of freeze. That would be very interesting, actually. I, I want to... I just saw that thing fall. So I want to take advantage of... Fuck off. I will not care. Okay, that was my bad. That was force of habit. Do you need fireball for you? No, not here. It didn't say anything about needing it to get into the level, so I'm, like, assuming everything's fine. By the way, I love this ice level. It looks great. Alright, so we have to destroy bomb blocks coming up. Fuck off! Oh, I got it in time, baby. Yeah, I even had to. I even had to break the blocks on that. Nice, nice. Oh, that one was actually an easy one. I appreciate that one. I do like how the switch gives you your health back. <laughs> I pressed the button immediately, and it fucking shot me up to four. Is there even a way to get fucking one? That's, that's a little. That's a little crazy. I don't know why I'm playing these. You know, I'm just going to fail this first one. Fuck it. I just kind of went into it because I was like, whatever. I'm a little tired right now. 63? They give you all the time in the world. Jeez. I mean, I did that on purpose. I just wanted to show more content in the game, guys. That was the reason. Not because I'm, I'm, I'm a lazy son of a bitch. Okay, so wait until before Sword Knight. I just just want to say, fucking fucking great, man. Fucking great. Look at that. How pretty that is. You know, I, I need to find just backgrounds of this game, and I just need to do use those as screensavers. Currently, oh, here's here's the, I did that by accident, but this is the part where one of us to go to. Oh no, we need fireball to do this portion. Did we see fireball up here? I don't think we did. Would have been nice if you had told me I needed to go into the level with it. Uh, I have to finish the level now. Fuck me. Oh, wait, no, you can use... I forgot. You, it said you can use UFO. Forgot about that. I do like the way the beam looks. I do like the way the beam looks in... Um, so that didn't work. Was it the full charge one that worked? Yes, it does. Okay, so we'll do this. Oh, just that? <laughs> I was assuming there was a lot more ice blocks to break. Well, at least that was easy. 
But anyway, it's like a they use the way uh, Kirby does it in the remake is it's like instead of just like a regular beam attack, he like has like this little like it's almost like he has two mechanical arms out and there's like the laser is like right in between. It's like it looks fucking it looks badass as shit. Also, Kirby turns into like the fucking like like he like it's like his little spaceship has a cannon. You know, I, I'm really curious why they decided on having a uh, UFO be this, like, super cool, powerful ability in this game. And by the way, the fact that you got him here means that they're also a nuisance here as well. Just fucking get by, get away from them, and then you'll be fine. Just ignore it, ignore it. Also, this level looks awesome as well. That's what I should do. I need to find, like, a, a thing that has all the rips of the backgrounds in this game. I'm just gonna go through the bottom one. And then uh, from there, I'd like to just do backgrounds on my PC that way. But I, I did a uh, fake scan lines from for the retro pie video stuff for a while. I still have that right now. I, I switch it up every now and again. And I say fake scan lines because I just did like what I ended up doing was just a bunch of lines. They're probably not even properly set. And then I also did like a hue to them, like I did like a gradient contrast thing from like one side to the other, so it, it looks a lot better than it actually look than it's actually supposed to. Oh, Meta Knight again. Cool. What's up, buddy? What the hell? Jeez, that took longer than necessary. See, it's so much easier to fight Meta Knight goons with, uh... With Kirby's basic stuff, because you don't have to worry about, uh... Having to hit him multiple times. Just suck him up and call it a day. You know, I don't remember... Do we see Meta Knight's lackeys, like, ever again? Like I know we see them like like in in this in this manner where he like sends them after you like this. Like I know we do in the uh, obviously in the remake and uh, Superstar we actually see them. They all have names and shit. Cool. Awesome baby. That's actually an appropriate end to this level because uh, we do lose UFO, but we have a very nice little moment coming up. Full health. Let's do it, guys. Meta Knight. I don't want to. So he will wait till you get the sword in this game, but in Superstar, you can actually wait it out. So all you have to do is run up. Bam. Here's Meta Knight, baby. Let's do this. Meta Knight's probably one of the harder bosses. I think DDD is also pretty tough, but I'd say Meta Knight is probably harder just because he's... Because he's smaller, that means you have more hitbox shit you have to worry about. He also has really cool attacks, which we will see in a bit, I believe. You also can't, like, cheese him with ranged abilities, so you really have to go all out with the... Uh... This will probably take a while. I do also like the fact that they, like, show, like, sound effects and shit. Like, Dean, like, kind of show that it is a sword battle. They change the sound effects, which I think is pretty dope. I'm actually surprised. I thought he had some more special abilities, like the tornado and shit. Did they only do that in the uh, remake? Do they only do that in the remake? And oh, he looks just like Kirby. Yeah, it's, it's been a thing for a while now. I like how they're still trying to do that, but there's like no reason why. Like they don't even try to fucking explain. Like, oh, I wonder what's going on here. Like, you know, I guess he's he's the same as Kirby. Just he's probably he's part of the same species. Anyway, last level in the game, folks. Level 7, and nowhere near as many things we have to go through. Level level 6 was the worst. But we do have a lot of stages still, so uh, let's get this thing going. This one, first stage, though, we do have something, so we will go into this pretty... Uh... Let me read this just so I'm good to go. idea what to expect from this one so I'm gonna wait till I look at the thing here I'm gonna watch the actual video oh I 
I see now. Okay, okay. This is stupid, but I see it now. Huh? Oh. Okay. I would never have guessed this, so I'm happy I looked at that time. <laughs> So get ready for some BS here, folks. Oh, and then we start seeing sleep more in this game. Also, sleep's another one that's kind of a pain in the ass to run into with, uh... I think light's the worst. At least sleep's like, oh, we trolled you. But light's like, oh, it, it feels like it's trying to be useful, but it isn't, you know? One up, baby. Uh, okay, so with what's going on here, we need... A certain special enemy coming up. Wait, what? Where'd he go? He didn't disappear for good, did he? I'm gonna be a little upset if he did. Okay, good. Just come closer to me. Come closer. Okay, good. So we need to keep this guy, so keep it... Keep it steady. Keep it steady. No, don't, don't, okay, woof. So as you can see here, we can actually start breaking certain blocks with the beam ability here, which is what we're supposed to be doing. Just watch out because the, uh, that guy can come around and fuck your day up a little bit. Oh God, why did they put so many goddamn waddle bees? Anyway, so what you need to do is go up here God. But wait, I want to hear that again. Like, who thought that was a good idea? Alright. So anyway, now we actually lose beam. Get fireball. And then we use the fireball ability to break this up here. That made much more sense watching it, but just trying to read that shit was, was not easy. Okay. And now we don't have to worry about uh, shit until the very last level. What? Okay, I was about to say, how the fuck am I supposed to get out of here? Like, what is this game trying to do? And we're just gonna fireball across the screen here. Just ignore me, folks. Or not. Kirby, please stop lagging and falling back so far. That's very obnoxious. Just, just gonna... Just gonna... Actually, I want sword. Give me sword. Like, I pressed it, like, immediately, and I still, like, oh, there you go. Oh, is this the, is, it's the tower, yes, awesome. So this is basically, oh, god damn it, I'm gonna lose this, but this is basically the mini-boss tower where you fight all the mini-bosses. This is something they've kept up for, a, I don't know if they, I don't think they kept that, I should have broke that thing before it even got close to hitting Kirby. I don't need Crash, I'm just going to keep going. But anyway, um, they, they do usually keep it up in future games, though, where there's a, there's a tower. No, alright, I'm probably going to lose it. here. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I guess we're fighting Mr. Microphone real here. Whatever, I wanted the mic. I, I wanted to get the mic ability today anyway, just because I... I love the misspelling for obvious reasons. Come on, fight me, bitch. Your music, you, your taste in music sucks. I was trying to think of something to make fun of, but I honestly, uh, I don't have, my taste in music is whatever I like. I don't give a fuck if it has any reason to why it's good or bad, so I, I, I have no reason. Like, people look up, will look at my musical taste and be like, what the fuck do you even like? Currently, I've been into more high beat dubstep shit, which I know people hate. He turned around and Kirby was like, dead ass. Oh, we'll do it again. Wait. Dead ass. All right, we got one more. I don't, I'm just going to use it on the next boss. Oh, oh, there we go. Perfect timing. Oh, I pressed it. This game's just stupid. I do hate the lag frames, though. It's pretty bad. 
All right, cool. Uh, we still have a lot more to go, but I guess we got hammer now, so that's nice. I don't think hammer does better than sword, at least in terms of damage like it used to. Oh, no. What is that, the pile driver? Damn it, if only Dave was here. He'd, uh, he'd, he'd know all these moves. Fun fact, uh, Fighter in um, Suplex was uh, creator Masahiro Sakurai's favorite abilities in Kirby... Uh, since we're talking about wrestling. His favorite abilities in uh, Kirby Superstar. Please stop shooting your babies at us. There we go, okay. Well, I guess we have throw now. Oh, I love that picture. Kirby can grab an enemy and toss it away like a star. Oh, jeez. I do love I do love the little pixel art they have here. Go again. This this game looks gorgeous. I will say it a thousand times. The the amount of detail and depth they put like like this right here. This has so much depth to it. It's such ah no. What am I doing now, Kirby? What are you doing? You need to take the babies. Okay, wait for the babies. There you go. Yeah. Suck your own kids. That sounds terrible. I was gonna say out of context, but even in I, I I don't see even in context how that like makes sense. All right, I will actually take this one better. Backdrop will be more fun. Oh wait, Kirby doesn't dash in this game. That's annoying. Okay, throw actually was probably the better option to have, but whatever. Yeah, because Kirby's gonna get hit there. Yeah. Mm. See, they don't, they don't give Kirby enough invincibility frames. Like, it does damage, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, what's the point if you're just gonna lose it? Oh. I don't think he actually took damage when he does that, so that wouldn't have done anything. Okay. Yeah, throw, throw is definitely the better of the abilities in this game. Like, Backdrop looks cool, but if you can't defeat the enemy in one hit, then what's the point? It's like, it's like stone. It's my criticism towards stone. If you use stone on, like, these mini-bosses, all they fucking do is, uh... All they do is take the... All they do is just stay there in your lane. That's just kind of... Because, like, there's no there's no creative way to use it, is the issue I have with it. Where I feel like future Kirby games, like, you could. They weren't that, like... They'd at least give you a chance to go, Oh, I need to try a different method. It is kind of funny that they went from this beautiful, colorful-looking game, and they're like, well, time to go back to the Game Boy. And I know that's just because Kirby's a, more of a handheld game, so they're like... You know, like I, I get it. Kirby's a handheld... came from a handheld game. They didn't want to not do a handheld game, but it's just funny. Well, I guess it's stupid, too, because they're like, let's have the Rainbow Sword. Oh, I was just about... I was looking at that door, and I'm like, it... It says no secret... <laughs> Why is it still that color? I don't think I've had sleep yet, so let's show it off. So yeah, as you can see, you sleep, but you don't do anything. Um, I don't think Kirby gains health in this game. I'll, I can show it off real quick. Oh, no, I've been hit. Uh, the pain in humanity, why? Let's see. Does Kirby, if I don't touch any buttons, will Kirby gain any health? Yep, no health. Okay, yeah, so no reason. I know he does it in... um. It's after you get the enhanced version of the ability. But I do know it does work for um, Squeak Squad. But you have to get the enhanced thing from the chess. Oh, no, not this one. I fucking hate this one. Well, we're just going to get hit a hundred times. Plus high jumps here. There's no way I'm getting out of this without taking a lot of damage. Nope, looks like it's just Cutter. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh, hey, well, at least there's a maximum tomato over here. Yeah. Wait, Meta Knight's still... Wait, what? So Meta Knight's still trying to help out. Okay, so I'm sure everybody already knows the plot of this game, but if not, uh, again, DDD, DDD's wiping his ass in the fountain. Feels good on his ass, and he's like, oh, yeah, so, you know, I'm taking away the people's abilities to dream because I don't care. There's actually a more deeper force behind it, but that makes that just makes me super curious because like here Meta Knight's trying to help out Kirby to help him get to the bosses and stuff so he can like do this. But I can't tell if this is so he can, you know, 
help out if he's trying to help defeat the boss or if he's trying to help free the boss like i'm curious what the developer's intentions were at the time now you know mennonite's kind of an anti-hero-ish kind of person and i specifically not now now he's anti-hero but like back in like squeak squad he was like in squeak squad he did not mind fighting kirby he's like i don't fucking care what your intentions are i have a goal here and he still fought kirby you know he's like i, I don't fucking care that's why I say he's an anti hero. Not not as much for his future games, but for this one. Or sorry, for Squeak Squad he was, but for the, the slightly later ones, they kind of went just towards eh, he cool. Oh god, this one sucks. Okay, so this is where we're gonna go through a bunch of these stages. Different colors, but Yeah, so now we have these guys. I know there's ones with burning dudes. The ones with the burning ability. No! Oh god, I thought I was gonna die there. I just figured one, you know, getting one more thing in there would be nice. Alright, let's do this. Ooh, I might be able to get through here without dying. Okay, this next one, I just... I did. That was rude, Gordo, and you're, and you're a fuck. Fuck you. You fucking only went halfway like a dick. He's like, I'm going to look like I'm going up when I'm not going to. You're a dick. <laughs> not letting me play recklessly. <laughs> you stay out of this, Lontro. Get, you know. See, my live chat says I had zero viewers, but I have one bird viewer right now, and he's very encouraging. He's probably going to say no in like five seconds. <laughs> It's really adorable, honestly. I'm just gonna fly above it, because all, all you do is run into these guys a hundred times, so just, just do this. Uh, warning to uh, epileptic viewers, there's, uh... There's gonna be an epilepsy test going on over here. Epilepsy test! God, that's bad. That is terrible. Wow, that defeated him in one shot. Nice. You know, it's nice being able to play this game and not have to worry about secrets! That fucking scared the shit out of me. Okay, so this is actually going in the direction that you can see, like, the stars are coming. Does Kirby lose invincibility till he hits the ground? That's kind of stupid. But anyway, yeah, so it's pointing, like, the things are going upward, so we're going upward. I'm just going to wait over here. If the game wouldn't lag down because of damn spark. When are you going to get your ass over here? Oh, God, he's going to wait. Yep. A little worried there. Not like worried, worried, but like this might take a while because it's going to be annoying. Okay, so we don't need this for a secret. Right? Yeah. All right, it's probably just like a one up or some shit. Uh, if, if it weren't for the fact that I'm already an hour and a half in and I want to get to the end today, I don't know how long that final boss is going to be. I haven't played it in a while. Since since I've been playing through this right now, and I feel pretty comfortable, I should be fine, but I don't want to deal with no extra shit today. We're just going to keep going. Actually, the next one is going to be our next uh, unlockable. Yeah, no, we didn't need that. Okay, it was probably like a one-up or a maximum tomato or some shit. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is going back to basics. Even the bottom is... Oh, that's awesome. I forgot about this. How about the pause screen? Okay, nothing on the pause screen. So, if I remember correctly, it says, Play the level as usual until you go to the star door, and the entrance to the switch is hidden just above the column directly to the right of the star door in the moon. So, when I see the star door go to the moon, I think that's what I'm reading there. You know what? I'm just going to watch it. Oh, here we go. Yep, okay. Always going to the moon. Yep. They didn't let us do that earlier for some reason, but that was probably just a, a mistake. I do love how they're like, hey, hey, you know, you, you know, back, 
Like, they're already going back to basics, and it's fucking the first game. And I love that. love that so much. To be fair, this is the only time they could do this. Because you could you try to imagine them trying to do that today? Like, oh, hey, hey, here's the, uh... Like, here's, here's something in black and white. It just doesn't look as good today. I don't know. Maybe for the 3D games it could have, like, an appeal to it. But not now. Oh, I don't really need those. So I'm just going to play through that. I guess they're going through all the segments? I'm trying to think. Are we going through... Are we revisiting the first game? Because this game's kind of a remake of the first game. Kind of. Not really. It's close, but not exactly. But no, like, stuff here. Yeah, this is like a bigger version of last time. Go over here. There's like a door open over here. Or there's supposed to be a door open over there, but... Yeah. This is like, yeah, this is the first few levels, but without the, or like, sections of the game without the screen crunch. Yep, clouds. Okay, yeah, we're just, we're going back to basics. Yeah, no, Kabulu. What's up with that shit? Oh, yeah, here's the, yep. God, I'm, I'm really getting into this since I just played this a few weeks ago. This is awesome. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is the one that's going to be the going to the moon segment. And then from here on out, they're like, yeah, just fly into the moon. Shit solved, boy. Oh. I want to take the hit, but I want Cutter. There we go, okay. Absolutely want Cutter. Don't get hit, Kirby. No. Yes. Just keep going up. Nope. Fuck you, Waddle do with a parasol. I like how the part... Pa Parasols are still a different color. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. And that is all of the switches in the game, guys. So we're basically as close to 100% as we can get till we beat the game. All right, let's see if I get it. Nope, I missed that. Nah, I was late. Yeah, damn. I wanted to get the last one, but what do you do? All right, we're an hour and a half in. I doubt it's going to take more than 30 minutes at this point, hopefully. Um, uh, let's see. I'm gonna say it's gonna be around 150 about the time we beat the, uh, beat the game, maybe. If all goes well. Okay, so we're fighting DDD again. I forgot if... God damn, look at that. All that shit, and we're not doing, like, any damage on him. But I really like Cutter. I like Cutter because in the, uh, demo of the, uh, remake, they show him, they show Kirby fighting DDD with Cutter, and honestly, it's such a good ability here. You can hit him in midair. You can really take advantage. You just... No! No! You can really take... You can really just whoop DDD for a bit. Especially if you do, like, the whole... Okay, no, but you can't do it too far or else it goes outside the screen. Uh, I don't know if it will do the same thing in um, the remake. Where it goes outside the screen if you're too far. I want to say it does, but... There you go, yeah. Suck it. No. <sighs> That's probably one of DDD's worst ass or like the hardest things about DDD that he mimics. Because a lot of DDD is kind of a mimic of Kirby. He can't copy abilities, but like in the first game, a lot of it was basically I can fly, I can but I can also jump, I have a hammer, I'm fucking just a badass. So yeah, but without Cutter, DDD is a pain in the ass no matter who you try to fight him with. But with the Cutter, he's actually pretty easy. Well, I guess that's a DDD fight I won't lose last second. But yeah, I, I love fighting DDD all the time. Oop, oh yeah, that's right, there's a level 8. I love this. You're going from the cutscene to the game. Jeez, DDD's seen some shit. Maybe, maybe that's the reference to the Star Allies where DDD doesn't blink and it looks like he's seen shit. It's from this game. He still hasn't forgotten. I love their faces here. It's amazing. Gotta love this game. Alright, you wanna start shit? Then you finish it, Kirby. Alright guys, best scene. Best scene in the entire game. 
Oh, I fucking love that. Oh, it looks so fucking good. All right, guys, this is Nightmare. I don't know if it says it here. Make the final effort. Shoot the star to defeat the final enemy. So we have the star rod now. This is the start of Kirby having the ultimate weapon at the end of the game. Usually it's not something Kirby has uh, all the way to the very end. Like, he can't use it. He can only use it in this boss fight here. Most of the games are like that. I think one of the few games that lets you do that is... Uh, Amazing Mirror? So he has, like, these negative stars going on. You can't see him as much here, but in the remake you can tell they're, like, they're just stars that haven't been filled in. Like, they have, like, a border around them, basically. Now, once you start getting to half health, watch out for... Not this one. He's at half health now, so we gotta watch out. There is a time limit here. When I was a kid, I could not beat this fight. So anyway, he crosses the stars there, so you can't stay in the middle, so watch out. But anyway, there is a time limit. You can... Oh, fuck off. I'll probably lose this, sadly. Uh, but there is a time limit. You will go to the fact that you can't, uh... You, you kind of get crunched by the screen, basically. It's, uh, like an auto-scrolling kind of thing. Oh, yep, it's coming up here. Oh, fuck off! I was playing good! Alright, just kill me. Stay in the corner. Actually, no, I wonder how far you can go. Nope, not too far. That was not... That did not give me as much time as I thought it would. Damn. Well, at least I get to see the scene again. Bam! Fucking love that. This is one of the, this is one of the few scenes I think lo looks better on the NES than it does the GBA. Like, don't get me wrong, it it's graphically more impressive, but just the extra the, without the screen crunch, you see a lot more cool shit. All right, you can fire more stuff if you're up close, but you also have a chance to get hit more. I don't know. Maybe I should try to speed run this game. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I don't think I could pull off some of the glitches they show with this shit. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to watch out here. I don't know, is it based off his health? Seems like it. I have to go down. No, damn it. Alright. Boom! I think if you do lose all of your lives here, you do have to fight DDD again, but you do like start back at like two or three lives. And you should be able to get all the the one-ups from the thing. Okay, I can do this here, because I know. Because, again, it's only when you get to half health that he just starts doing the crisscross at that one scene where he starts, like, getting the stars ready. I do love this boss, though. Oh, my God. Should be fine. Oh, no, I guess it's maybe a little bit more than... Quarter health, maybe? One third? Maybe more one third. One third sounds more appropriate. Okay, yeah, we should be good now. I could say that um, since it, the game does lag, there's kind of... You might feel more appropriate. By the way, you can't get screen crunched here, so grab the star in time. But um, since there is lag every time you shoot a star, if you want to evade something, there's probably a better shot for you to not shoot the star. Oh, I love this shit here. Also good. Sorry, I, I don't mean the fucking gawk, but I love this game. No, I think this one looks better on the GBA. But it still looks fucking amazing here. This music, though, fucking fantastic. Also, Kirby has... He's still... So this is Nightmare, folks. Does it say anything? Nope. Same thing as before. Okay. Looks pretty cool. Again, I think he looks better in the GBA remake for this one. So anyway, uh, his coat protects him, but you want to hit the inside of him. Now, Kirby can hit him with the, with the Star Rod himself. The Star Rod's kind of like a sword that shoots out stars, basically. Projectiles, the best way to put it. So yeah, so when he has an opening... And I just love the face, too. The way the face Nightmare has, like... Him like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing my attack, you know, has a little star in his hand. Badass as shit. I think you can block attacks. Oh no, fuck that up. So when Kirby jumps, he actually always attacks. So, but that's I guess that's not always the case. Damn it, should have been fine there. But just like the way they do the facial animations here too. Looks so cool. Okay. Okay. He does start getting creative like Nightmare did in the in the little shooter sequence there, which by the way, that was the shooter sequence that every Kirby game has. 
that was its moment in this game. Actually, is it in... I don't know if it's in Dreamland 2. That's the only game I can think of that... Actually, no, I, I, no it is in Dreamland. Because uh... technically you don't shoot projectiles in Dreamland 2. I don't think... I'm pretty sure you don't shoot direct, uh, projectiles. There we go. Okay. I have no idea what my dog's barking at. I had to remember he shot out the bottom, the, the bottom on that last one, so I was like, fuck it, just take this, don't. Two people are home right now, so there shouldn't be any problems. With the puppy, I'm hoping. I'm half tempted to look, I should be focusing on this fight more. So far, I, I thought DDD was going to take me longer, but I think I'll get to my 150 time limit here. I have 14 minutes to beat this boss fight, though I am only halfway here now. Don't fly too much in this boss fight. That's my tip. Nightmare takes advantage of the fact knowing that Kirby can fly. So that's why he swoops around the screen, which is why if you stay on the ground, he can't hurt you. Now, are we here yet? Okay, no. So, on one of the moments coming up, he, like, flips upside down when he does, like, one of his undercoat attacks. Like, the tornado-looking one. I'm surprised I haven't got hit there multiple times. Is it, is it it now? No, okay, it's not. <clears throat> if he does it again, maybe. But yeah, when he does that, he's really just doing that to get you in midair. So, just stay on the ground with this one. That... I don't think you have to duck, but I'm ducking because I, I I think in the remake he can hurt you with that. Like, I think it takes... Hey, here we go. Here's him going upside down. I don't recommend trying to attack him there unless you go to the outside of the screen, jump up, and then shoot a star at him. I've been only at two health for a while now, and I know that I, because I said that, that means I'm going to get hit. <laughs> okay, stay over here. He's probably going to do a little... Yep. I just... I just love that. Love that. Aw, oh, come on. I do like the fact that he teleports around, too. Yeah, you, you gotta be pretty close. You gotta be pretty good to get it there. I don't know, at least in the remake you do. Maybe maybe it's more difficult in uh, this one. But I know you can get it in the uh, remake when he does the upside down. You just have to know when he's doing it. That one as well is kind of hard to hit him with. I mean, oh. God, no, Kirby! Why'd you fly? It's one thing I hate. I hate it when Kirby flies when he's like, I'm not trying to make you fly, Kirby. Ooh, I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. Should've. No, I have this down pat. I don't... I actually think... Is he much harder in the, in the remake? Because this does not seem anywhere near as hard. I don't know, the game isn't lagging as much right now, which is surprising. Like, you would think right now this is when the game would lag the most. You got all the cool stars hanging around the screen... Just the background itself. I don't know, maybe that's why it's not, because it's just the background going very quickly. Didn't take a hit there either, well. Yeah, oh! Oh, I got him. I guess the maybe the maybe the star does more power than the physical attack. Oh yeah, this looks cool too. The screaming mouth and eyes shining. God, I was way out. <laughs> Twelve minutes away from what I said I'd probably beat Nightmare. And that's why we have Crescent Moons, everybody. That's the story. Considering this game is from Japan, uh, it's surprising there were no rabbits on the moon. Anyway, guys, that is the end of the game. Kirby fought to find the Star Rod. But King Dedede did not mean any harm. Oh, look, look at the stars. They look so good. But dreams had invaded dream... Bad dreams had invaded dreamland. A, a nightmare came to the dream spring. And tried to cause pain to the people. DDD foiled the nightmare by hiding the star rod from him. DDD helped Kirby beat the nightmare. Not really, he just kind of shot us. Now everyone's dreams will return. Tonight, Dreamland will sleep well. I mean, you don't have to dream. You can just, as long as you don't have nightmares, you know, you're good. You know, it seems more like Kirby... Oh, this looks so good. 
Wait, wait, wait. So pretty. So fucking pretty. Oh god. Wait, there's more? Oh, I know. I thought it, like, shoots out. Doesn't it shoot out shit? Oh, no. Okay. Not like that. I thought, like, stream shot out of it. Maybe that was just when Kirby takes it. Puts it back in earlier. But it seems more like Nightmare was, like, locked in the thing. The way they, the game kind of tries to show it. But here... But they explain that he's kind of invaded it. He was just kind of hanging by. So anyway, yeah, guys. This was Kirby's... Uh, I want to say Nightmare in Dreamland. Kirby's Adventure. A very awesome NES game. Uh, a late... A late NES game. Obviously not late late because there are a lot more fan-made stuff that were made near the end. And I think the very last one that was made was like the Christian wisdom tree shit. But anyway, you know, this game is great. It looks fantastic. The fact that it added Kirby's uh, ability, uh, the whole copy ability thing into it, changed Kirby forever and made him such a... You want, you want to hang out with me, Lantro? It's getting a little hot in here. You can, you can hang out with Dan while we do this. So yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. It, it, it has so many characters that are from the original game that that's really nice, but it also adds a lot more as well. It, it both has a combination of charm and um, it, it just has a good combination of both, you know, adding stuff, but also like looking back going, you know, this, this is what we came from and, you know, we're not, you know, I don't know. It's weird saying that because the game came out like two years after fucking the, the original, but just it's an amazing game. It's perfect. I do recommend... I say perfect. That's not perfect. It has problems. But I do recommend you check out the uh, the Game Boy Advance remake. Uh, both this game... Um, you can't buy anything on the Wii Store anymore. But both this game and the remake are on uh, the Wii U. Um, if you do have it, you can purchase it on there. And... Yeah, I don't think of anywhere else you can actually purchase it. I do think Kirby's Adventure is now also on the Switch online. That whole thing going on over there. I don't know the problems it has. Oh, that looks like... Oh, there we go. I was right. There's water stream. But, um... Bye-bye. Oh, that's so, so fucking cute. So, but yeah, no, that's... Uh, you know, it has... Um, you can buy it on there. I recommend you buy it. Purchase it. Kirby's a great game. This is still... You know, I, I, I don't want to say this totally holds up, but because it doesn't rely on so much bullshit NES stuff, if you want to enjoy an NES game, play this game. This will be a game you will absolutely enjoy. 100%ing it actually isn't that big of a deal. You know, it's a little like, uh, there's some stuff here, blah, 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 but it's not that bad. And it's just nice. That's just nice. You can't, you can't hear it, cilantro, but I bet you'd like it. Actually, he doesn't really care for game music. He likes hip-hop and rap music. And I am more of a rock fan, so we kind of, we kind of struggle with what to listen to, but he still... I don't know, he liked a little bit of Five Finger Death Punch when I played that, uh, half a year ago. There you go. There you go, buddy. All right. Extra game, congratulations. Now choose an extra game to go on a new and more challenging quest. So this is basically... I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. 100%. We're good. Um, Again, ex Hero of Lore. Oh, no, 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 no. That's just the, the title at the end. Okay. Um, So extra quest is basically half health. And I don't I don't know if there's any different enemy placement uh, or anything like that. But it is half health. And I think the things only give... The, the sodas only give one health when you get those so yeah that it's basically like the dreamland thing oh kirby waves hi kirby how are you uh <laughs> so but anyway yeah um here i'm gonna put cilantro back for now don't worry don't worry buddy we're gonna let you back out in a second don't worry love these nuts. so but yeah no so yeah um i don't know what i'm gonna do wednesday um i have one plan i do like i said i want to okay so i wanted to talk about this last time but I don't think I'm going to split up my channel anymore. That was kind of a plan for this channel, but I don't think I'm going to do it anymore. Mostly because I don't think I'm going to go forward with the emulation stuff. I'm, I'm debating making a video on that just because I don't know if there's people out there who will really focus on that. You know, but I, I, I want to make a video specifically about that. Basically, one of the main reasons is considering the way Nintendo has been going after certain, um, at least the ROMs and distributors of the people and stuff, and the way that, like, Article uh, 13... I, don't, I live in Arizona. I don't live in... Uh, I do not live in Europe, but considering stuff like that past, I don't believe it's going to be long until companies start making it illegal to do stuff like what I'm doing here. Like, real quick, I'm going to save this. So if I do want to play uh, in the future, hopefully, I can still play this. Save state. Okay. I can play in whatever fucking emulator I want to, but they're going to be like, no, well, you, it doesn't matter if you own, you know, the game or, you know, in any form whatsoever, whether it's the original game, whether it's on a compilation pack, whether it's the multiple times I purchased it on different fucking, you know, platform, you know, like, again, like the 3DS one or the fucking thing. Oh, that, that doesn't matter. You, you're not allowed to do this. And I, I believe we're going to get to that point, sadly. Uh, you know, so it's like, 
when that happens, that means my all this work I put into these videos will have to be scrapped because they'll they will be they will be illegal. You won't be allowed to do them anymore. And I think that sucks. So I, I do think that's going to be the case. You know, I'm not totally sold on not doing anything at all, but I think I might scrap it because I was about to do one on the Nintendo Wii and hacking that, and I'm kind of rolling back on that now. So I'm like, you know, maybe I'll do the PSP like I planned to originally planned to. But yeah, I, I don't know about that whole thing. So that whole thing happened, but I still started, I, I want to finish a Let's Play I never finished on my channel. And uh, there's some extra stuff I want to show, and I think on Wednesday maybe I'll show off that extra stuff uh, from that version of the game. So Or that version, sorry, just show off the extra stuff. I'm playing it off the original uh, save file I had. So anyway, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, this has been fun. Again, I love playing Kirby games. I don't know, like I said, I think Wednesday I'll do that, and then in the future... Uh... Yeah, I don't know if I'll play through Superstar at all, because I have not, uh... I've, I've beaten everything in Superstar. I don't know. Maybe I'll do Helper to Hero now, or maybe I'll... Maybe I'll do the Dreamland 3 boss rush. I'll start trying to, to you know, I'll try to get back in the action of that and trying to do the... The Star... Oh, wait, no. There's one thing I still have to do in Dreamland. I don't know. Maybe I'll play through Dreamland 2, and then I'll, I'll do that extra bit. There's one thing you can do to get 100%, and technically I haven't done that yet. I don't know if I'll play Dreamland 2 from the beginning. I'll debate on that. But uh, the Wednesday coming up, um, I think I'm going to stick with... Uh, I think I'm going to do what I wanted to... What my plan is, is like an extra thing. So, because I'm... I think I'm going to try to record it either today or tomorrow, what I'm going to do. But I want to do that as like an extra... By the way, if you want to watch this, watch the stream of me playing that. So, anyway, wait, wait, this, I will stop this here. Nobody came to the stream today, but that's perfectly fine because I didn't say anything until the last second. And uh, probably a better reason because Cilantro was a little loud, but he, he was pretty good. Yeah, we'll, 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 before we go, we'll say, we'll say goodbye with Lantro. So, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I very much appreciate it. Me and Lantro appreciate it. Ain't that right, buddy? Want to look at the camera? Look at that. He, he doesn't care. He's like, he's, he's looking at the computer screen like, Dad, who's that, who's that pink, horrible person there? Is he, is he going to eat me? And yes, Lantro, he, he will absolutely eat you. He will get the wing ability. And then he'll get rid of it because he doesn't like the wing ability. So I'm sorry, Elantro. It's your, the ability you give off is not loved enough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike Juno II signing out.